There's actually quite a few processes uh, involving printing something in this particular lab, depending on who exactly we're trying to cater to. So a lot of people, a popular option is coming into the lab, going on a website. Uh, there's a lot of different blogs and different uh, resources online where you can find designs uh, that are pre-made and available, which a lot of people will download and then go to print. Uh, there's also a full set of computers in the lab with AutoCAD software in which you can design your own model in which case facilitators such as I in the lab would advise you on your design and then inevitably get you to print it. If it's online, uh, most of the files are in an STL file, which is a stereolithography file. And if it's in that format, very manageable and it can go pretty much directly to the printers. These printers themselves have uh, a slicing software which takes the 3D models, these uh, STL files as I told you before, and it slices them and when I say slices it will take a planar cut of that object and it'll turn it into a brush stroke essentially for the printer uh, and by combining a huge amount of these uh, slices it'll determine and make a full volumetric object and in that software you can like orient you can change uh, the weight percentage you can do a whole bunch of different manipulations to that model you can change the size you can change uh, printing orientation. Yeah, no, this is a uh, full open source for everybody to use. There's different rates. Uh, students are essentially fully subsidized, but we also welcome faculty as well. I've had a couple people in this week who have been printing off uh, last minute Halloween costumes. Any student can come in whenever, you know, we're open and just go for it.